Hey, so welcome to part two. We just verified and claimed our website URL. The next step is to enter in your business information. So your address, your city, your state, prop, state or province, zip, country. Also your customer service information. So Google likes it when you do enter this information because they feel like you're more of a reliable source. So your URL, your email, and if you, d if you don't mind, even your phone number, uh, you know, Google does like this. They do take this into account. And I would add all your business information as much as you're willing to give uh, and more, actually, if, if it's worth it to you. Um, to save time, I'm not going to fill that out here. And the next thing we want to do, after you fill out this, you want to hit Save Changes. And then you want to scroll over to, under Settings, you want to click on FTP. We're going to create our FTP username and password. And usually I like to make it your store name or your something you can remember. So in this case, I'm going to use El Primo. And I'm going to make the uh, password also the same thing. Uh, and I'm going to hit Save Changes. OK. So I created our FTP username. And it says it takes about up to 15 minutes. I've, I've, I've had it actually take longer than that. But now we're going to go back to the Flying Card Headquarters. And we're going to enter in our username that we just created. And password and then I'm also going to copy this product field file name I'm going to hit I'm hitting command copy on a Mac or control C um, or I can also right click and hit copy and then I'm gonna hit save settings so now my FTP username and password is saved in my flying cart headquarters uh, store headquarters um, so go to go back to our our merchant settings and we've saved it here already, so we want to click on Data Feeds now, right here at the top, right underneath Dashboard. And we're going to click New Data Feed. The target country is going to be the United States, or the other options. And the format is going to be Google Base. And we're going to paste in the Data Feed file name. Um, and again, in our Flying Card Headquarters, it was listed in, a, in, the, in our Google Product Search section. So you want to copy this and paste it into here or you can type it in if you can remember it and it's usually just your subdomain value dot xml that's the extension and click save changes so there we go now our data feed is set up congratulations and we want to then hit go back to our flying cart headquarters in the marketing section and you want to click submit products to google now this should not work actually because we just created our FTP account information and it takes 15 minutes uh, for your FTP username and password to be created. So what I would do here is, it even says there was an error with your Google FTP account information. What I would do is you know, go, get, go get a coffee at this point and then come back and hit submit products to Google. And that's it. Uh, you, can, you can submit it and your products are going to be in Google product search and you're going to get more search volume and, and customers to your store and eyeballs to your products. And it's a really great tool uh, to have. Um, we know these are a lot of steps uh, worth it. We actually submit your products automatically every 30 days once this is done. So even when you update your products, uh, we submit it for you automatically. You never have to do this again. Uh, it's all done for you. Uh, just make sure you review the Google-based program policies. They don't allow anything illegal. Sometimes they don't allow things um, that have swear words in it or um, they have a few other policies. So you might get rejected. Your products might get rejected for that. Um, and also, we know that these, these this might be a little long. So feel free to email us, and we'd be happy to help you out or even submit it for you, uh, do these steps for you. It just takes a simple email. Uh, again, now your products are on Google Product Search. Um, and enjoy your time with it. Thank you for joining me.